Let's go over here. I'm going to pull up, I'm going to look up another album. This is uh, Hymns by Johnny Cash. Uh, let's look this one up and then we can talk about adding it to the collection. So I'm going to go off of the catalog number, which in this case is CS8125. So if I go CS8125, and it's pretty specific uh, in regards to spaces. I can't type here, 8125. Spaces, spaces, hyphens, any different characters in the catalog number, you're gonna wanna type it in as close as possible. So again, I put in CS8125 and there's a whole bunch of stuff coming up here, right? I don't even see the Johnny Cash album. So what I wanna do, again, these are just suggestions. So I wanna actually hit search and this is gonna give me the releases and the suggestions. So I can go through here. I'm still not seeing it. All right, maybe I'll go here and see if there's any versions. Okay, there's one. I see uh, a 1959 stereo copy of Hymns by Johnny Cash. The first thing I do is just go straight to the label picture. Don't start scrolling around because you wanna find the label that matches or at least is a very close match before you start diving in. So I'm gonna scroll through and go, okay, there you go. So a completely different looking label, obviously still on Columbia. This is what is called a two eye Columbia pressing. And they call those eyes for whatever reason. You can see the one I looked up on Discogs is actually a six eye. So that's not the correct version. So what do I do from here? Well, all you have to do is scroll down a little bit and you'll see, see all versions. That's gonna take you to that same place where I was when we looked up the Hendrix album. So now we've got that daunting list of every version of this album, again, regardless of format. So you've got to filter. So immediately filter by format, go to LP or vinyl. In this case, I can see again, it's stereo. And since this is an older album that was issued on mono and stereo, it always helps to drill down. So I'm gonna drill down. So now you can see I've only got nine to choose from. But again, I didn't, I didn't filter by country. So I'm gonna filter by country as well. All right, now we're down to seven. All right, so I know this isn't a promo, or at least I don't think it is. So I'm gonna skip that first one. That second one there is the, uh, the one we just looked at, I believe. Then you've got one with an alternate cover. Okay, so here we go. Now we've got uh, a repress on stereo. So maybe this is it. So again, the first thing I'm doing is looking at the photos. All right, so this looks pretty, pretty close. I'll try and put up a picture if this is not close enough, but this appears to be it. I can look at the way that the type is set. I can look at the fonts uh, and I can see that this is gonna match. I see a little something different here, actually. This says non-breakable underneath the catalog number. So if I go back here, let me try this second one. Maybe it'll have that identifier on it. Again, you're looking at the very specifics of the label. Let's see if this Discogs wants to load here. No, that's a different one too. So I think that one may have been the closest match. Actually, here it is, Mammy. All right, there we go. So I found it. If you look under the CS8-8125, it's got the word unbreakable and that's, uh, or uh, non-breakable, and that's it. Okay, so how do I add this to my uh, collection? It's very simple. There's two icons. We talked about them already. The eye icon means you're watching it, and the little, uh, it looks like, uh, you know, records stacked up against each other. So all I do is hit add to collection. If I wanna add notes, I could add notes about the condition or where I got it from or anything specific to my specific version. Again, this is gonna be logged to your version. Um, I can hit save and automatically you'll see now that that green, that button is highlighted green. That means I've added it to my collection, right?